Hello everyone and welcome to Game 7 of the World Chess Championship 2021. It's Yanni Pomishi with uh, and Magnus Carlsen and it's gonna be very very interesting to see what uh, direction the, the match now uh, takes as uh, Magnus won Game 6. If you guys still haven't seen it, do check it out. It's simply an incredible game. Uh, and it was basically a position that Magnus could play forever and Nepo, uh, well, he always had a draw, but he always had to play that perfect, perfect continuation of moves. Uh, and at some point he just didn't. That queen to e6 move pretty much sealed the deal and uh, Magnus was able to, uh, to win it. But even if uh, Nepo found the, the correct uh, continuation, uh, if you don't really understand why you have to move the way you have to move, then you will blunder at some point and this is what Magnus was able to capitalize on. Uh, so uh, game six always delivers, like I said, uh, and this match uh, uh, seems to be no different. So let's see uh, what happened in this one. Now Nepo has the white pieces and uh, let's see if he's ready to strike back immediately, uh, you know, while the iron is still uh, hot uh, or he will wait for his chances some other time. Uh, I don't have the photo of the actual handshake. Uh, if you guys uh, have seen the handshake, do comment on, on what the handshake was like. I'm very much interested in that. But here is the first move. Uh, I don't know who the gentleman made the first move is uh, he he has some sort of a a bracelet that I, I thought that was very interesting having such a bracelet you know uh, on, uh, uh, you know with a suit uh, so do share if you know who that is and you can see he's going for the e pawn and you can see that Nepo is very very happy that he's going after the e pawn uh, obviously we will have another Rui Lopez now uh, it's either going to be the anti martial like we've seen three times already or maybe Magnus. Uh, Oh, well, Magnus is ready to go for the Marshal, but if Nepo doesn't play c3, we will not be seeing the Marshal. So let's see, Nepo with the white pieces opens with e4, and Magnus goes e5. So uh, nothing new here. Uh, we've already seen this three times with bishop to b5, the Rui Lopez is on the board. a6, Morphe's defense, bishop to a4, and now knight to f6. We have castles by Nepo, uh, and bishop to e7. We have rook to e1 and b5, everything the same as in the previous three games. Uh, bishop to b3 uh, and Magnus castles and now uh, of course if you go for c3 then we strike with the d5 we go for the martial attack uh, but here we have a4 so not h3 like in the first game uh, rather we go for a4 we have already seen this two times uh, rook to b8 by Magnus going uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, grabbing that b file and now we have a captures on b5 a captures and now usually you can play c3 d3 we've already mentioned all of this knight to c3 but Nepo goes for h3 it's sort of a rare line but uh, again we've seen it in game five so d6 by magnus and now if you remember in game five uh we had c3 and then magnus uh, played this b4 move but here after d6 we have d3 by nepo still this is not a new new idea uh we have h6 by magnus and now knight to c3 we have rook to e8 and now knight to d5 there is one game that reached this exact same position uh, from 2013, Maxim Vashiela Grav won a very nice game with uh, the white pieces. Uh, so bishop to f8, uh, a standard real Lopezian idea. You want this bishop on f8 and the rook controlling the e-file. And now Magnus goes for knight, uh, sorry, Nepo goes for knight captures on f6. And it is now as of move 14 that we have a completely new game. So let's see, Magnus captures uh, on f6 with the queen, we have c3 now, uh, and uh, knight to e7. The knight, as usual, is uh, routed over to g6, then you control f4. Uh, we have bishop to e3, and now bishop to e6, opposing the light square bishop here on b3, and finally, Nepo strikes in the center with d4. We have e captures on d4, c captures on d4, bishop captures on b3, queen captures, and now knight to g6. Magnus now opens up the attack towards the e4 pawn and Nepo plays rook e to c1 uh, trying to trade off the e4 pawn for the c7 pawn but this would only uh, improve uh, white's pieces if this other rook comes to, to, to a7 could be very unpleasant so Magnus instead just pushes c5 he gets rid of his only weakness basically uh, and now he's ready to capture on e4 uh, if Nepo allows it. So here, uh, capturing wouldn't really be all that impressive. If you capture, then we see sort of a trade here, captures, captures, and now even rook captures on e4, even better. If a bishop captures, knight captures, we've traded off everything. Uh, both players have a b pawn on the queen side, and it's, uh, well, very, very drawish. So instead, Nepo pushes e5, and now uh, capturing here would be very dangerous. If Magnus captures, Nepo captures on c5, and now he has this very 
strong pass pawn. Of course, Magnus is not interested in, in playing against this. So after e5, we have queen to f5, just getting the queen out of harm's way. And now uh, a capture fist is incoming, so be ready for that. So here we have d captures on c5, d captures on c5, bishop captures on c5, bishop captures on c5, rook captures on c5, knight captures on e5, knight captures on e5, rook captures on e5, rook captures on e5, and queen captures on e5, and everything disappears from the board. Now we have this position, a queen and rook against the queen and rook, with both sides having a, a, a one a pawn on the queen side. Uh, we have queen to c3, Nepo offers the queen trade because you really don't have all that much to try here. Captures, captures, and now rook to c8, going after the pawn, rook to a5, and now we have captures and captures, and this is now of course a draw, uh, but players uh, I believe are not allowed to agree to a draw before move 40, so here we have rook to c1 check, king h2, rook to c3, uh, we have h4 now, g6, we have g3, h5, king to g2, so just you know making some moves, king to g7, we have rook to a5, and now king to f6, we have rook to b5, uh, repeating king to g7, rook to a5, king to f6, rook to b5, we have king to g7, rook to a5, king to f6, and now even rook to a6 check, king g7, rook a7, and it was in this position on move 41 that Nepo and Magnus agreed to a draw, uh, so we will not be seeing any any uh, bloodshed in game 7 of this World Chess Championship match, uh, but it's kind of to be expected, because Nepo didn't want to, you know, go for anything crazy right after the loss, because then if you overextend, you lose two games in a row, then even psychologically it will be almost impossible to come back in this match, uh, but uh, not only that, they really played a lot yesterday they had to had to rest and maybe they didn't have all that much time to prepare something special uh so uh, it doesn't seem that nepo is having all that much success with the real lopez magnus has um, uh, a, a lot of a lot of success uh, in, in this particular line of defending uh against um, uh, well both the h3 and the a4 anti marshal so uh, i think if we see one more uh, anti marshal and then maybe one more anti marshal then uh, i don't think nepo will have any other choice uh, other than to go for the actual martial attack and that's what this world chess championship could be about so if we see all draws uh, until the last time nepo has the white pieces i'm sure we will probably see the martial attack as you know the, the, there's there's nothing else to try and Mar imagine if he actually wins this uh, th that would make marshall very happy even though he didn't uh, you know uh, use the weapon as intended to, to defeat Capablanca, uh, you know, it, it would make him very happy if Nepo was able to, uh, to, to bounce back in the World Chess Championship match. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's the game. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. Uh, game 8 uh, incoming as soon as it's played. Um, uh, of course, a rest day is, is first, then we continue on December 7th. Uh, I would like to, uh, to, to thank congratulations for your uh, graduation, Edon. Uh, happy birthday, Andreas. Uh, Fred Ackerman, Vlad Laro, and Daniel Heffels for your contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you soon. Continuing the coverage of the World Chess Championship uh, until it ends. Uh, thank you all. I will see you soon, and have an excellent rest of your day.